Hey guys, in today's video, we're gonna talk about the China Glaze Gone West collection. And this is a shop my stash kind of video. So similar to the OPI Scotland collection, instead of shopping the store, I decided to shop my stash and pull polishes from my collection that resemble their lineup. I didn't buy the Gone West collection if in case you came into this video thinking that. Instead, I tried to pull from my collection to try to dupe their polishes. So not everything is exactly the same uh, because I'm working with what I already have. For this collection, I did actually have to do a little bit of pairing up because China Glaze added these pretty little shimmers that I did not have going on in some of my polishes. So I had to use maybe a cream base and put a shimmer topper over it to try to get a similar similar situation going on. I did go off of Google Images, China Glaze's website, Instagram. I went into Instagram this time around because China Glaze descriptions was not very helpful. And some of them they were, but not all of them. Like this one, for instance, which I'll start off with the red one in the collection, which is Campfired Up. This is their red cream. On their website, it looks more like a brick red. And based on some swatches that I'm seeing, some pictures it looks a little bit brighter, some pictures it looks like a muted red, and in some pictures it looks like a brick red. And the only one that looked like a brick red to me is this guy from OPI. This one is called Como Se Llama. And it came out in the Peru collection. This year, last year, I can't remember when this came out. This one has a really awesome formula. It gets a pay cut two coats and the color is really beautiful and i think really beautiful for the fall take the high rodeo is their mo shimmer is what they're describing it as i put down that it also looks like it has a gold or bronzy kind of shimmer going on and when i first saw the swatch of this it reminded me so much of wouldn't you like to know not so much in the base color but more like that little shimmer that strong little shimmer that it has because it looks really really beautiful I don't think I swatched this one because the base is not the same, but if you have this one, pull it out because I think this is just a really great reminder that we have this polish because this is really, really beautiful. That gold shimmer reminds me so much of this polish, but because I didn't have anything exactly the same with the base and the shimmer combined already, I had to pair a couple polishes up for this one. So I used as a base in stitches from Essie that has that mauve color going on but this is a cream because I didn't have one with the shimmer already included I used a couple of toppers I pulled out a woman's prerogative this is option number one although wasn't my favorite it is an option this one is not a topper though this is one that's meant to get opaque on its own I did have to remove quite a bit of the polish off of the brush and lightly apply it to my nails to try to evenly distribute it and I didn't feel like I succeeded very much in that because I felt like some areas of my nails it looked a little bit a little bit bare but you know it it served its purpose for what i needed it this one has more of a gold orange little shimmer going on and i felt like the particles in this weren't too large to where it overpowered this guy here and i also have this guy which i thought it for me it was my favorite this is called golden sunset from julie g so opi's a woman's prerogative this the shimmer in this is more golden than and orange and Julie G, the shimmer in this is more fine, which gave me a more even application. The shimmer in this is gold and it shows a little bit pink and a little bit of green. But because I put it over top of in stitches, I, I felt like it pulled out more of the gold and pink more than it did the green. So I thought this worked better together. Yes, you can tell that it's not a shimmer polish. And yes, you can tell that I used a base and a top coat, but it gave me a similar situation as Take the High Rodeo. Lawless and Flawless is their pink shimmer. And this one looks like a very delicate pink, very dainty pink polish. In some pictures, the shimmer looks gold. In some pictures, the shimmer looks like it's more of a reddish or pink little shimmer. But the gold shimmers looks like the, some of the particles are a little bit larger. The one that I have that looks similar, and I went off more of the sh on the shimmer than I did the base, is from China Glaze. This is Skinny Tipping. This came out this summer that passed. The base of this, though, is more of a nudie peach more than anything but the shimmer is the reason why i pulled this guy out this one has a very fine red shimmer it looks like and the gold shimmer particles in here looks kind of identical to their shimmer in lawless and flawless because some of the gold shimmers look smaller and some of them look a little bit larger either way similar vibe situation i do have to say though that this one i don't see as much of the little shimmer on my nails as i would like or 
yeah I'm just I just don't see it as much I do see some of the gold shimmers but it's not as pronounced all the time as I would like it to be but it does have a good formula and it gets opaque at two coats fairy tale ending this is their looks like a khaki yellow cream in some pictures it leans a little bit more brown and in some pictures it leans a little bit more yellow so the only one that I had that leaned as yellow as theirs does is from pure eyes this one is called shore bet so this is not only cream in color but it's also cream in finish and it leans very yellow i thought this was a great option for theirs because it looks almost identical based on some of the pictures it looks really really good and this one has a pretty good formula two coats to get opaque and quite frankly i had never I'd never worn this guy before, so I think I'm gonna be pulling this one for this fall because I like this color. Cowboy Bye is their purple black shimmer. So this one, in some pictures, it looks like the base is more of a bronzy red, but in some areas it looks like it has some gray, and I even see a little bit of green, and then it looks like it has larger either silver particles or silver holographic. I'm not a hundred percent sure like in some pictures it looks a little rainbowy so the base that I pulled out is mirror mirror on the wall from OPI the base of this is more of a blackened purple and then you see quite a bit of the red do you see that but in some areas I see a little bit of the green the base of this looks very similar to their color base as well but this one doesn't have the little shimmer particles or the little yeah the little shimmer particles that uh cowboy buy has going on so this is where i had to bring out a topper and this is the inm northern lights this is a holographic topper mine is halfway through initially when it's full or even up until like this area right here you can control the intensity of the hollows that go on the on the nails because mine is now coming below the halfway point i can't control the i cannot control the intensity of the hollows going on the nails which is kind of a bummer because i feel like i applied a little bit too much of this than what i wanted over top of this but you know it it kind of gave me a similar situation so i paired these two up together and this is a favorite one of my my favorite toppers ever this is so freaking beautiful and it changes up any polish that you put put this over because the little hollows in here are so fine they're like little fairy dust they're so pretty the next polish is buffalo bills 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 and on their website they're labeling this as a brown gold shimmer I put down that this has more of a red bronze base with strong green shimmer in some pictures it looks like the bronze shimmer is more pronounced and in some pictures it looks like the green shimmer is more pronounced either way this looks super beautiful and it reminded me of two polishes that i have from china glaze these two i do feel like the particles in these though are larger than the particles in their polish because theirs looks a little bit more fine but the base color looks somewhat similar to these two guys here I have Autumn I Need That, which came out last year in last year's fall collection, which by the way was one of my favorite fall collections ever, and Midtown Magic. And the difference between these two guys, both of them have more of that reddish kind of base. This guy has the green shimmer particles that kind of shift from a, a greenish gold, teal, and purple, and a little bit of blue. All of that shiftiness though, I don't really capture on the nails. I see more of the little green shimmer this guy has the same ready tone kind of base and this one just has the green shimmer not so much that little shiftiness going on that this guy has but they gave me a similar vibe to theirs i do feel like theirs in some pictures it looks a little bit more bronzy like a bronzy tone that i don't get from these but it's kind of the same thing kind of situation that one's really pretty actually i really like that bills 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 guy Cattle Drive Me Crazy is described as a blue-black, and I put down Shimmer Blue Metallic. And the only one out of all of the shimmering kind of blue, this is the one that had the most blue. Anyways, in the bottle, this one does pull more blue than it does on the nails. I feel like on the nails, it pulls more green and definitely more on the teal to where theirs is definitely blue. It's not 
exactly the same but it's a similar situation not only in finish but also in color and this one is a big one coat i mean this has a great great formula so this is called tongue and chic i don't even know if i mentioned that and it's also from china glaze and lastly i have gold mine your business and this is labeled as a gold shimmer so this one looks like it's more of a yellow kind of brassy gold in some pictures a very strong yellow gold to me the only two very yellow golds that i have but theirs has a little holographic shimmer going on in it which mine do not so i did have to use my top topper this time around i have these two right here i have astrid from zoya i do have to say their like little shimmer particles looks a lot smaller than what these are the shimmer particles in these are a little bit larger and almost foil looking kind of situation so i have astrid from zoya and i have the nina ultra pro this is a top, this is labeled as the top coat by the way this is called gold flake top top coat so like little flakies basically but these are very very similar to each other the color i pulled these because the color reminds me of the color of their nail polish like a yellowy gold but because these don't have the little holographic i pulled out the inm northern lights which you can kind of see over top of these but quite frankly i feel like these look more reflective than theirs does um so you can see a little bit of the holographic on these but not as noticeable i feel like all right my favorites from their lineup is buffalo bills 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 yes i have something similar to it but i really like those kind of shifty polishes and i really like cowboy buy as well which is their purpley black shimmer and take the high rodeo i love that mauve base with the gold little pinky situation shimmer going on in it i th thought that was really really beautiful so that is everything guys thank you so much for watching i hope that you guys enjoyed this video and found it super helpful and don't forget to let me know what your favorites are out of this collection in general the china glaze collection i would love to know and i will see you guys in the next one bye